Welcome to Effects Pedals for the Horn Player. In this series of videos, I will guide you through discovering a new sound using guitar effect pedals with your woodwind instrument. Pedals are an exciting way to enhance your sound and add energy to any live performance or recording. Whether you want to add subtle reverb, or fill out your tone with additional octaves, or even sound like you're underwater, the right pedal board setup will help you achieve all of this. Playing with pedals live or in the studio gives you a whole new, unique palette of tonal colors to experiment with. Now, there are four main components of an effects pedal setup. First, you have the microphone. Second, a preamp. Third, your actual effects loop. And finally, a power source. Now, once you have your instrument, you will need a good microphone to play into. These videos will feature the Sterling Audio ST69 condenser mic, but any type of condenser or dynamic microphone is a good place to start. That microphone will then plug into the preamp, which boosts the microphone signal of your instrument closer to that of a guitar signal, which is needed for the guitar pedals. After the preamp, your sound travels now through what's commonly referred to as the effects loop. This is where your various guitar effect pedals live and where you start to change the sound of your instrument. As a general rule, I like to place modulation pedals towards the front of my effects loop while putting time-based effects towards the back of my loop. We'll touch more on modulation and time-based pedals in other videos. So after the signal runs through the effects loop, it then can go to an amp, speaker, or any other type of device for playback. Finally, you're also gonna need power for your pedals. Each pedal does require its own power supply. When you're using multiple pedals, uh, a singular power source with multiple outputs really helps to save space on your pedal board. And that's it. With those four components, you're ready to start performing and recording with effect pedals. For detailed information on all the gear you saw in this video, please check out the link below. And one final thought, you might be asking yourself, what effect pedals should I use? And in what order should I string them together? Be sure to check out the other videos in our Effects for the Horn Player series and discover a new sound today.